maybe don't click off the video. Maybe stay right there, you know? Maybe, maybe you should stay right there. Maybe you should click the link in the description, you know? Maybe, maybe you should check out this book you can pre-order right now that was written by somebody. I don't even know who! That was crazy! We don't know who wrote it. It's just some guy wrote a sequel to a book that you should probably pre-order right now. You should probably pre-order this book, you know, maybe, possibly. The link's in the description. They told me, you know, it's a good idea to come up with a marketing strategy. So I figured, you know, what's a good marketing strategy? You know what tends to get people's attention? Drama. And we also have today a box I need to go ahead and open because within this cardboard is a special edition. Special edition book of Leviathan Wakes, the first book in the Expanse series. Let's compare it, shall we? Over here we have the standard paperback for Leviathan Wakes. A nice paperback, if I do say so myself. The cover's grown on me more than the first time I talked about it here on the channel. It used to be kind of eh on the composition, but really after spending some more time with it and giving it a deeper look, it's a good cover. I still wish there was a bit more definition for what was going on, but the color scheme, beautiful. And neon pink lettering, fantastic. I'm still not a huge fan of the fact that if you order it online, you might get one that's shorter. It'd be nice if they had the special edition of this one, so I didn't have one that was just shorter all of a sudden. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be really nice? I think I'd enjoy that. I but that's not what we're focusing on today. Focusing on today, we're gonna looking in what we're going to focus on today is looking into the special edition that's being released. And wow, it embraced the pink, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, this is what I just saw. That's, that's very f***ing pink. I don't, wow, that is a very pink book. Um, let's go ahead and get that on out. I picked it up upside down and backwards, so all I can really tell you so far is that's a great looking barcode. And a uh, little ship. And we have it here. I'm going to be having nice little 4K photos put up over it. But what this looks like to me uh, is a fairly nice jacket-based special edition. And they added in that pink fringing to really make it pop. Um, it's... I'm whelmed. I am not over or underwhelmed. I am properly whelmed. Now, what is worth note in this special edition is there is no unique illustrations inside or anything like that. This is just a standard celebration anniversary edition where really it's coming down to the jacket and the fringing because you got this underneath, but I don't know if anyone really loves that enough to have it prominently displayed on the shelf. I do like the ship going over the solar body, planetary space, some gas giant, I don't know, fucking Mars. <laughs> And we got this as well, but I honestly don't really know why they spend a ton of time on Under the Jacket, because who's buying an anniversary edition and stripping it nude? Okay, here's what I will say, because this is a pretty, all right, not fantastic uh, edition overall, but I have one real big positive I'm gonna lay on top, uh, as well as a negative. So the positive would be, uh, this is extraordinarily readable. Unlike some special editions, hold up, like this Game of Thrones from Folio Society where it's so nice, I don't feel like I should read it because I don't want to damage it with the disgustingness that is myself. This, how did you get there? Get out of here! This special edition is something I wouldn't mind getting like an actual reading experience from because aside from the really poppin' fringe, which my God, is that pink and a nice jacket. It feels very, I could throw this in a bag and not be concerned about it all the time. And a criticism is it came not perfectly aligned. I don't know if I can show this very well, but if I have this on a shelf with how they folded the jacket, black is visible here, not visible here, because as you can see by the author's name being on this line right here, it came unproperly aligned. And fixing that can be actually pretty annoying. Um, once there's a set fold in a jacket, getting rid of it's difficult. So I am going to be doing that and it's it's what I'm going to have to do. I'm literally pulling this as hard as I can right now to try and get it straight and when I let it go, it, it, it settles back into not being. So quality control is not fantastic there, but overall I like it. It's going to look good on a shelf and especially if I have it displayed out like this, That'll be good. Oh, it's glossy, so there's fingerprints already. 
Stop with the gloss! You don't need to gloss sh** because matte's better. Matte is better always. And people always say gloss pops more. No, it doesn't. Yes, in the light, it gives you a shiny shiny, but who likes the shiny shiny? That pops even more and it's not glossy. You could have done that here. And, okay, that's... Now we're getting into some art stuff. That's that's fine. Uh, but I like it overall. I would give it a 5.5 out of 10 for an anniversary edition. And with the price being extremely reasonable, I am whelmed. This is what I expected to get, and I'm A-OK -okay with it. Now if, now, if you wouldn't mind moving out of the way real quick. There's this book also that you could possibly buy right now if you win the link. Oh my god. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for this quick special edition review. I will go ahead and post this on some channels, and I hope you are having a wonderful week so far. Like and subscribe if you have not already, and hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. I wish I could be more comprehensive, but this is this, just in a fancier jacket. That, that, that's all that it is. This this is this. You're, you're getting this content as well. Fancy. Oh, look, for the first time, I actually did damage a book on camera.